Hello, and welcome back to another round of Verdun with Lothar Dietrich. Hello. We are on the map Lorraine, and it's uh, a map with a special event. It is the Christmas Truce, and it's celebrating the Christmas Truce of 1914 and years afterwards. And uh, I am uh, right now at the French Postal Office, so if I press E, I can see a French Christmas card that could have been sent by soldiers home or uh, well you can see it has here this carte postale thing and a stamp and in game you can write uh, someone's name and then uh, put e um, your own email and then send it by uh, social media or email to that person that's uh, kind of funny. Um, all over the map there are uh, there are uh, things that are uh, about the Christmas truce, like uh, the um, like uh, uh, soldiers standing around bonfires, like over here. Um, there are here are German soldiers and a Scottish soldier, and Br and a British soldier talking and uh, warming themselves at the fire. The Christmas truce itself was uh, started in uh, 1914, at the first Christmas of the war, and um, uh, the Germans uh, started singing uh, Christmas carols, and uh, they were also uh, um, putting up a Christmas tree, and um, then they were uh, joined by uh, Allied soldiers from the Entente. Uh, for example, the Scottish, that were like this guy, were playing Christmas songs on uh, the bagpipe. Uh, they were uh, approaching each other, uh, talking to each other. They were uh, switching out uh, stories and little presents like buttons. And they also swapped uh, bodies of dead soldiers so they could be buried, as you can see over here. Here is a burial scene with uh, a German uh, and um, uh, Scottish soldiers and British soldiers. And um, uh, this uh, meant that the soldiers were not so much in the mood for war anymore because it was Christmas. And... Um, they wanted to have a bit of peace in uh, in the middle of the war. Um, there was also a football match, and uh, the football match is portrayed here by the um, by the by the football field, where you can kick the ball by just running against it, and then you can play a bit of football. Uh, unless you get iced, of course, because you can throw snowballs and then you can ice players and then they can't move for a, a few seconds. And where's the ball now? Oh. And in reality, the football match was won by <laughs> the Germans. The British played against the Germans and the Germans won. And uh, I think the end score was 1-0. But um, you can't see, uh, you can't really see pictures about it. But uh, all pictures that you can find are about the reenactment of the football match. And the, um, and uh, that there are no pictures is uh, partially because the commanders were not so happy with the truce. They wanted to, uh, the soldiers to have this image of the enemy, that they were monsters, that they were not human, and that uh, you had to fight them with everything that you had in your power. So, um, fraternizing with the enemy was not the intention of the commanders and there's a French guy laying in the <laughs> goal to prevent any <laughs> goals that's kinda <laughs> kinda resourceful and 
here you, there are some cheering soldiers for the football match. Uh, the commanders were so mad at the soldiers for uh, fraternizing with the enemy that they uh, decided to uh, to watch the trenches at other Christmas uh, events and uh, bomb the trenches with artillery if they would do it again. And So the um, truces were less widespread after 1914, um, but there were there still were some truces, and the soldiers didn't really uh, follow the commander's lead <laughs> by uh, by uh, still organizing truces, even though it wasn't allowed. So yeah, Christmas truce in the First World War is a very special event in Verdun and also a very special event in real life because amidst a modern war with death and destruction, soldiers were being like normal humans to each other for a few hours and sometimes for uh, a day afterwards. So the score is. Uh Good story is worthy. Oh, you scored an own goal. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was lying right inside of the. <laughs> Well, I've heard stories where um, officers shot soldiers who were uh, sympathizing with the enemy at the truce. They were executed. Yes. Wow. So it was basically like they are talking to uh, some people and celebrating Christmas and all of a sudden they are shot by um, their own officers. Wow. Which can sometimes even resorted into fighting uh, uh, between the two sides. Which started as an easy event. The ball is the stuck lighting. here at the campfire. <laughs> Okay, so happy holidays. We lost the football match, but the um, uh, the Christmas truce uh, can be remembered by this very special map in Verdun. So if you uh, have the time, then do some rounds on the Christmas truce map and remember the soldiers that were fraternizing with each other amidst the First World War. Okay, that's it for this round. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.